So here we are, just waiting to go in. Can quite literally feel the excitement. Oh no, that's a fart. Anyway, we'll be going in very shortly. Don't know what that wink was for. A load of press peeps from around Europe were invited to attend a mystery Sony event. There was not even the slightest whiff of a new carer until they whipped this out. Yes, indeedy, the A9. Although some people were focused on stuffing their cake hole with not cake, most were getting busy with the jizzy over the A9 until we were told we'd be going elsewhere. Okay, we've just got on the coach. We're going to be sent, I don't know where, to shoot some sports. What kind of sports, though? Well, we weren't told. It was all top secret stuff. I reckon it'll be motor sport. They've got the cameras lined up for us. I'll tell you what, this bit is seriously cool. Oh, this is intense. So that sound is just an electronic sound, isn't it? It's just so you know that it's actually taking a picture, but it's, you can have it completely silent. Tracking seemed to work a treat, stuck on the subject like a bogey on the back of a headboard. <laughs> it might look like ASM, but it feels evolved. Pumped for performance and a new dial for shot and focus mode makes its intentions clear. I mean, this is meant for sports photographers. There's no viewfinder blackout. The A9 is aiming for a swift 1-2 TKO over the 1DX2 and D5. The insane burst and no viewfinder blackout make a unique proposition. Unlike DSLRs or even an A7R2, the sequence of shots look like an animation through the viewfinder. What a beast. Beneath that power lies a load of geeky shit, stacked CMOS sensor. In simple terms, it provides a 20 FPS burst and 60 AFA tracking calculation per second, and a buffer depth of 362 JPEGs. To put it more simply, it's really rather good. One thing is that when it's writing to a memory card, you still can't do anything. You can't mess about with the menus when it's busy writing to card. It keeps shooting though. But the focusing system is sweet. Apart from those 693 focal plane phase detect points, it is quick and accurate. Out of the 1,000 initial shots I took, there was only two wildly out of focus shots. And it's got 93% coverage when it comes to the auto focus points. Right. Time to move. I was just shooting JPEG. Image quality with the new 100-400G is proper slick, sharp, nice bokeh. Impressive. But what about RAW? Up next is some posh yoga fused with freestyle hairstyling. Oh, you're gonna mess up your hair like that. From capoeira to some good old fashioned kick him in the nuts. Jesus. Just don't mess up his hair. Continue shooting still feels as frantic when shooting raw. Buffer is not as large, but we're still talking about 241 compressed raw before it says, nah, I've had enough. Over in this corner, this is the only time it's okay for a dude to smash an old bag, unless you're Wayne Rooney. The A9 is definitely quite a step up from the A7 series. So glad that they packed over a new battery that has 2.2 times the capacity of the A7 one. It also has a LAN port, a slightly better menu, a nipple and a new dial. Obviously a battery grip or a grip extender if you don't want that. Raw files look good. At 24 megapixels it offers around 4 or less than 4 megapixels more than a 1DX2 or D5. But the details still look good even when you crop in tight. I just went to 
four thousand, eight thousandths of a second. Just kept flicking the dial. Thirty-two thousandths of a second. Just not enough light here to show you that though. That's 12,800 of a second. Even then I still had to push the image to stop. It gets these speeds by using electronic shutter, but the theory is that it won't suffer from the typical electronic shutter problems thanks to the anti-distortion shutter. We don't have any golf sticks here to test it, but I doubt this guy likes golf anyway. You can freeze anything. Elsa would be really pleased. Get out of here now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We had to keep changing lenses, moving to another spot. I wish we had more time with the A9. Would have loved to have tried the video out. Only accidentally got a short clip. Minute. But no log, despite 4K video from a 6K sensor readout and apparently less rolling shutter, giving it lots of potential in the video area. But the A9 is being positioned primarily as a pro-grade camera for sports shooters. It's going for the ghoulies of the 1DX2 and Nikon D5. It's looking to convert shooters. The problem is not the price, which at $4,500 is around $1,500 less than the competition, but the price of changing systems. But if there's any camera to make those people switch, it's the A9. Perfect.